Since the beginning of time, people have been searching for the elixir of life. But what if its recipe is actually found inside of our DNA? Research suggests that the cell division limit can help us understand the macroscopic effects of aging. In 1961, Leonard Havelock discovered that cells could only divide a certain number of times before it reaches the Havelock limit, which is around 50 cell divisions. Cells grow exponentially. Two cells become four, which becomes eight, until it eventually reaches over a trillion cells. At the tips of each chromosome are protective caps called telomeres. Telomeres are made up of proteins and repeating DNA sequences, TTAGGG, which wrap around sheltering, a protein, to protect the telomere ends from fraying. The telomere's job is to prevent chromosomes from fusing with other chromosomes and losing important genetic information. Before cells divide, their DNA needs to be replicated by DNA polymerase and initiated with the help of RNA primers. But the replication process is not perfect. Sections of the primer binding site never gets copied, resulting in a replication error and shortening the ends of our telomeres. So each time our cells divide, our telomeres become shorter and shorter before they can no longer protect the chromosomes and their DNA unravels. When this happens, our cells will reach a state of senescence in which cells can no longer divide. As our senescent cells accumulate, they begin to damage our tissues and organs and contribute to age-related diseases, which is why our Hayflick limit is thought to be one of the causes of aging. But are there ways to stop the accumulation of our senescent cells? One of the interventions scientists are currently studying is telomerase, an enzyme that increases telomere length by adding more telomere sequences to the ends of our chromosomes, eliminating the Hayflick limit. But if our body contains high levels of telomerase, it can lead to cancer. The Hayflick limit allows cells to self-destruct before too many genetic mutations can accumulate. So, in a way, our Hayflick limit is necessary to help prevent genetic mutations in developing. While we have yet to find the elixir of life, the Hayflick limit has shed light on the potential ways to slow down the process of aging. As science continues to unravel the mysteries of the cells, we may one day find a method to extend our lifespan without sacrificing our health.